हेलो एंड वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज अवर लेक्चर नंबर सिक्स ऑफ मैकेनिक्स ऑफ सॉलिड्स कोप्लानर कॉन्करन फोर्सेस द चैप्टर इज गोइंग ऑन दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वेरी लॉन्ग चैप्टर एज कंपेयर टू जीटीयू सब्जेक्ट पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू नाउ टुडेस टॉपिक इज वेरी मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज लामिस थियर नाउ व्हाट इज लामिस थियर व्हेन एवर ऑन अ पार्टिकल और ऑन एन ऑब्जेक्ट थ्री coplanar concurrent forces are acting simultaneously but then also the body remains in equilibrium means the system is in equilibrium equilibrium under the action of three concurrent forces then the lamis theorem is applicable and what is the use of lamis theorem when a when on a body three forces are applied out of this three forces any two forces is available to you and all the angles in between the forces are known to you then you can find third unknown force this is the main and important use of lamis theorem let us discuss this lamis theorem has been asked in the gtu exam frequently here it is written that gtu june 2010 january 2016 may 2017 but actually it has been asked several times in the gtu numericals gtu theory exams now let us see what is given in the statement if three coplanar forces acting at a point b in equilibrium means you can see in the figure that this is the point point o out of uh, uh, from point o outward forces are p q and r these three forces are in equilibrium and the angle between the forces are alpha beta and gamma as shown in the figure respectively then what happens each force is proportional to the sine of angle sine of angle means sin theta cos theta like this so sine of angle between the other two means what if you are taking the force p then what is the opposite angle of force p it is alpha so p upon sin alpha it is the first term what is the next force q then the opposite force will be beta then the second term will be q upon sin beta and third one is similarly r upon sin gamma this all are equal because they are in proportion so our target is to determine the equation like p upon sin alpha is equal to q upon sin beta is equal to r upon sin gamma this equation we have to prove okay so just remember this equation in this equation p q and r are three forces p q and r are three forces different forces r is not the resultant of p and q in this case okay so p q and r all the forces are very different uh, very 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 individual not dependent on each and other okay let us start the proof of this equation p upon sin alpha is equal to q upon sin beta is equal to r upon sin gamma let us start the proof you can see the modified figure over here you can see this is the force p this is the force q and third one is the force r over here now this force r can be extended over this vertical line and the direction will remain same in downward direction now angles now concentrate on the angles carefully this angle total angle is gamma this total angle is alpha and this total angle is beta so by summation you will get alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to 360 as you know this three angles are completing the circle so alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to 360 now for this vertical red line you can see this angle is beta this angle is beta so the upward angle this upper angle is 180 minus beta because the straight line is of 180 similarly on the left side the lower angle is alpha you can see let us change the color you can see this angle is alpha so the upward angle is 180 minus alpha so this angle is 180 minus alpha and this angle is 180 minus beta so this is the game of angles actually now as per the definition or as per the property of the law of parallelogram of forces you may know that this line sorry let us check this line and this opposite line both are parallel to each other so they are forming the pair of corresponding angles which corresponding angles like this z 
z formation will be there like this so this is z forming so this angle included in the z this angle and this angle both are equal so this is 180 minus beta so here it is also 180 minus beta similarly the reverse z is also possible like this starting from point a this red line this vertical line and this red line are forming z so in the z 180 minus alpha 180 minus alpha these two angles are equal so they are pair of corresponding angles okay so corresponding angles are always equal so what is our target our target is to determine the angles in the triangle which triangle oac you can find out from the figure that what is the triangle oac here it is point o you can see here it is point o here it is point a and here it is point c so in the triangle o a c the two angles are ready now 180 minus beta and 180 minus alpha from the geometry of the figure what is given in the construction? Consider three forces P, Q and R acting at a point O. That opposite angles of the forces are alpha, beta and gamma as discussed earlier. Now draw the lines OA equal to force P and OB equal to force Q to some scale meeting at point O. It is just for the formality. Now complete the parallelogram OACB with O and OB as two adjacent sides and OC as a diagonal. Means you have to complete this parallelogram. From the figure it is clear that o b c and a is the parallelogram so complete this parallelogram but out of this parallelogram only one triangle is important that triangle is o a c let us go ahead must remember that what we have to prove we have to prove p upon sin alpha is equal to q upon sin beta is equal to r upon sin gamma this lamis theorem we have to prove let us go ahead so same figure will be there in triangle o a c According to the sign rule, this line is OA. Okay, consider on the triangle only, not on the parallelogram, on the triangle only. This is the line OA. So, opposite angle of the line OA will be 180 minus alpha. So, as per the sign rule, OA upon sine angle ACO. Sine angle ACO. Okay, so this is the sign rule. Side divided by opposite angle in terms of sine not cos the second line or you can see the second side will be ca then the opposite angle of ca will be 180 minus beta so here it is the equation ca upon sine angle coa you can see c o a so here it is the opposite angle of ca the last one is OC upon something. So here you can see OC. OC. So the opposite angle will be this. But this angle, opposite angle is not available. The name is available only which is CAO or you can say OAC. So OAC will be equation number 1. So hence this is the equation number 1. But what is our difficulty? We are, we are knowing that the first angle ACO which is 180 minus alpha from the figure. The second angle COA which is 180 minus beta which is also clear from the figure. But the third angle sine OAC is not available to us. So let us find OAC first. Now as per the rule in this triangle OAC other two angles these two angles can be subtracted from 180 because the addition of all the three angles in the triangle is 180. We, know, we are knowing this. So 180 minus first angle ACO which is available here second angle coa which is available here so just replace the values so 180 minus aco means 180 minus alpha here it is minus okay and minus coa is 180 minus beta so just removing the bracket you will get minus 180 plus alpha and minus 180 plus beta so 180 180 will be cancelled out alpha plus beta minus 180 is the final equation now as we have discussed earlier Alpha plus beta can be replaced by 360 minus gamma because alpha plus beta plus gamma the total is 360 they are forming circle. So in place of alpha plus beta we can replace 360 minus gamma and this minus 180 will remain as it is. So 360 minus 180 will be 180 minus gamma. So this is the angle OAC is equal to 180 minus gamma. So angle OAC 
is equal to 180 minus gamma finally so the third angle this angle is now available which is angle OAC is equal to 180 minus gamma so what we have done right now we just find out we have just found out three different angles of the triangle to use in equation number one now all these three angles will be replaced in equation number one with the help of forces let us see here the same figure is continue you can see the equation number one is now becoming OA, CA and OC so the sides are as it is but the angles are replaced by the values 180 minus alpha 180 minus beta and 180 minus gamma means just opposite angles of OA, CA and OC what is the opposite angle of OA you can remember this OA is this side opposite angle will be 180 minus gamma alpha so here it is CA CA will be this side so opposite angle will be 180 minus beta right here and the third one is OC the opposite angle will be unknown which we have calculated 180 minus gamma now what is sine 180 minus you must remember that as per the theory the quadrants so what is the meaning of this quadrants in the 11th 12th standard or in the 10th standard you may study all STC rule all S T C here it is 0 here it is 90 and here it is 180 and here it is 270 degree angle so 180 minus means you have to go reverse in the second quadrant so in the second quadrant sign is always positive so from this equation 180 minus alpha will now becoming sine 180 minus alpha equal to sine alpha similarly sine 180 minus beta equal to sine beta and similarly sine 180 minus gamma is equal to sine gamma so hence the sine 180 minus alpha 180 minus beta 180 minus gamma is converted into sine alpha sine beta and sine gamma only now what is OAC and OC from the figure you can see this force OA will be equal to P the second side OC will be equal to R and the third side CA will be equal to Q so just replace the forces OA equal to P CA equal to Q and OC equal to R so our final and last equation is P upon sin alpha is equal to Q upon sin beta is equal to R upon sin gamma so friends this is the Lamis theorem which is very very complicated and very very tough to remember so just practice at your own and now in the next lecture we will start the numericals based on Lamis theorem you must remember that this theorem and the sums based on this are very difficult for this I will give you some rules and regulations to calculate to solve the numericals remember that you must you must be familiar with the geometry of the figure means corresponding angles vertically opposite angles addition of three angles of triangles are 180 then after some corresponding angles vertically opposite angles linear pair all the pairs of the angles are known to you then after areas volumes trigonometries sine equal to opposite upon hypotenuse cos equal to adjacent upon hypotenuse tan equal to opposite upon adjacent this type of trigonometric functions are also known to you so this is the basic requirement while solving the Lamis theorem numericals so stay tuned and we will start Lamis theorem numericals in the next lecture so till then you must remember this Lamis theorem repeat this video again and again and solve your doubts with the help of this video so Lamis theorem is very important from the exam point of view just solve this at any cost we will start numerical in the next lecture thank you very much students